Well, friends, all good things come in time. Now, it's winter. Logging sports is over. Bob Walker had a he had a busy year. I haven't been over to see Bobby and Holly in a long time, and I'm going over to see him this morning for coffee. It's winter. I'm hoping to get a couple projects going with Bobby and pick up from 1965. That's where we left off. Remember, AJ, uh, Andrew from England, got me that pot and piston. And I think I've got one here, but anyway, it's from a 1010. My Pro 1010, not, you know what I mean? My Pro 1010. Remember that crazy power saw I had? But I think it might have been crazy because it was going to blow up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. But anyway, we're going. We're going over to see Bobby and Holly. Hey, let's do it. Let's see you over there. Okay, friends. So, this is what we got. He doesn't know I'm bringing it. He has no idea. He has no idea that I'm bringing this box of goodies or this. Hi, Bob. Howdy. You're on Canon camera, buddy. Everybody's been asking how you been. Oh, I'm just doing just great. Good to see you, buddy. I see you on that damn computer all the time. I know. Bobby's been watching, friends. He's been watching us. And we haven't been over here for... What do you know? Oh, look at this now, friends. It, well, that you've had this a while. Is this that one you had? Yeah. You've been playing around with it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, Steve's now. Uh, Steve. Oh. Yeah. Good. Yeah. This will be great for him. Oh yeah, yeah. Him and, him and I did it up there. Eh? Did you? Oh yeah. Good. Well, he wanted to learn how to do it, so I, he uh, did it up there. Eh? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. That's a Christmas present. Does he know? <laughs> oh, yeah. He knows. So, did you hear that, yeah. friends? Bobby and Steve, which is actually a good friend of everybody's here, yeah. especially the walkers, have just uh, cooked up this 266. It's got a compression button on it. Oh, yeah, make it easy for him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it yeah. looks great, yeah. friends. Look at that. Yeah. So, this thing's going to cook. Oh, yeah, it runs good. Yeah, I bet it does, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's got a nice sound to it, too. Yeah. These always sound great. I, I've always liked these. I nice, gave Victor yeah. one, and and he just he loved the sound of it. Yeah, yeah. Even the chain break works. Oh yeah, huh? yeah. I mean, this thing was just like brand new, you know. I mean, it was well, like, I remember you. Yeah. Was this up at the campsite? Yeah, I picked it up there because they use it in the water. And that's that's why right. Rust it up a little bit, eh? You know. Oh, it's in great shape, Bob. And then they put straight gas in it. And then, you know, it's still got all the little original stickers on it there. Oh, look at yeah, that. Professional, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like a really good saw. Yeah. A little bit of somebody's cork boots from starting it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that, friends? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Cork boots right there from starting it. What yeah, a silly yeah. bugger. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> and then, of course, this looks a little familiar. Oh, yeah, the stallions. The, the stallions. Stallion, the, yeah. the stallion's been torn down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Sizing it and stuff. I'm going to put a pulley on there for the rope to start it. Good. Got a little starter and stuff on it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I this is fun. I always love coming here. It's I been too long. Off. I took quite a, few, uh, quite a few pounds off it. It looks like it. Yeah. 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 I got it off here and stuff. And I got another pipe for it. You did. I'm going to put a pipe out from here. Oh, yeah. Instead of that thing down the back. That's a good idea. Uh, it's just more compact. Eh? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, it's a mean saw. Well, that's going to work. I mean, it's mean. you got to get it to work, eh? Yeah. You are, eh? Oh yeah. Yeah. See, you can't, you yeah. can't put, a, you can't keep a good man down, friends. He, you know, he's just. Well, you got to get in the right mood to work on it. You do, don't you? Yeah. I look at it and look at it, you know, and then you're like, well, I'll do a little on it today. And... Yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And I noticed you got a 372 on the bench here. That's Carl Bishop's. Is it? Yeah, that's the Godfather saw. The, the Godfather saw. Yeah, and I'm going to get that done. I'm going down to that sign place, and I'm going to get the guy to do it up for us. Eh? Nice. Yeah, put the Godfather on it. Oh, good, this good. This thing was just filthy. I built it 20 years ago. You did? Yep. Yeah, 20 years ago. And he says, I guess it's about time you did a tune-up on it. He says, <laughs> he 
show you. You can have a look in here. So this is Carl Bischoff. Yeah, really. He's he's Logger Sports, the Godfather. Oh look what look what we've got here! Holy smokes, Bobby! Mm -hmm. You don't think this little thing goes? So that's a big carburetor. Yep, that's off a Yamaha cart racing engine. Yamaha cart racing engine, and you must have just is that a, a that's a, a 375 pot, one of the big pots? Nope. 372. Oh, 370. Uh, you can see what it says right on here. We'll drive you a three, 371. Yeah, it's the first one that came out, yeah. These were great saws. This yeah. is a 371, friends. That was before the 372. Oh, 371, yeah. And these are wicked. Yeah. I'm surprised he's got a... Yeah. This looks like a good saw. It is. Yeah, it's been really good. Like, like he said, all I ever done to it is change the spark plug and the gas filter. Yeah. That's all oh, ever done to it. Beautiful. And the thing lugs like that too, eh? Yeah. Hey, look, friends. Look at look at the look at Bobby go here. He's got a boot coming off and just all kinds of neat designs, eh? That you just only this guy, you know, he just comes up with them through the years, you have eh? To make your own stuff. To own you gotta, yeah, you gotta make your own stuff. I mean, this is a crazy little saw, crazy little saw, three seventy one. Yeah, I saw that. That's like a husky switch or twenty one hundred switch. Yep. Yeah, it works great, eh? Flick right there. Yeah. So he's got this classified as like a hot saw kind of runner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he got them bottom ones punched out too. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. I'll bet it screams. Yes. Okay, friends. Uses drama. Yeah, here we are, friends. We're over at the Walkers. How are we doing? Yeah, I'm here with Bobby Walker and Holly. And you're gonna open your present. And I'm gonna open my present because I thought, you know, Bucket's time is uh, kind of limited to what he can do. So he he's got to kill a couple of birds with one stone. You see here. So I, the so the Bob gives you a steak knife. Yeah. So Bob gives me a steak knife, and I think I had. So, anyways, friends, this showed up in the mail today. And I thought I had my pocket knife with me, but maybe I don't. That's not a good thing. But this is a bar. Guaranteed it is. Oh, yeah. It's probably a little Mac bar. It's nice, actually. Looks like it's been... Oh, I can see it there. Yeah, it is. It, it's, it's a McCullough bar. And what it is... Oh, look at that. It's a little sprocket nose McCullough bar for one of those little ones, Bob. Yeah. Those little 10, 10 uh, ones. Isn't that nice? Thanks for that. Mini Mac. Mini Mac. Yeah, that's what we call them. But that's in real nice... Mini Pro sprocket tip, 14 inch. That Jeez, on the wall. that's a nice shape. Yeah, well, I'll hang that in the shop. That's super nice. Thanks for that. I've got a couple of these that guys sent them to me. So sweet. Thank you. Who actually has done this now? Errington, BC. Oh, it's just up the road. Errington. Yeah. You're just up the road now. Hey, you crazy guy, you. I think I know what's in here. I think there's an axe head in here. I got oh, a feeling. Maybe. Yeah. What the hell is his name? Well, I'm looking for it. Why well, I can't see right there? No, that's just his address. Arrington, uh, a nice axe head. That's a three and a half pound axe head right there. That's a beauty, friends. The steel on these is really tough. So there was a couple different axe makers. Well, quite a few axe makers in Sweden and this one I've had a couple axe heads like this, and it looks like an HB head, but I don't think it is. It looks like original paint. It, yeah, yeah, I think so. It's it's either there's I'm Wetterlings, eh, friends? It looks like a Wetterlings, but Wetterlings <laughs> usually got that saw on there, S A W, right? But that looks real similar to a, to a saw axe head. Thank you so much, pal. I really like that axe head. That's awesome. That'll go to good use. That, um... That'll make a nice banger. That one, eh? Yeah, we used to, we, we sold some of these years ago. What's that, Bob? We sold it uh, when I worked for Fendi there. We sold Did you? Yeah. you? Remember the blue heads, eh? They were made in Sweden. Yeah, made in Sweden with a blue blue and head on it. We used to sell a, I think it was a, maybe a four pounder. And they used them on the boom. Yep. And they used to sell them to Harman. Really? Yeah. yeah. With the blue heads? Yeah. Interesting. At Walker Saw Shop. No, that was that, uh, Veggie. Veggie yeah. 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 I'm quite sure that's what they were. Yeah, they were uh, yeah. 
everybody in the country had one for a while. So everybody, everybody used to steal them. Was it a uh, <laughs> was it pin Bob? Was it a pinned axe? Do you remember? Like pin? No. No. We never pinned it. You for a power, but we never did for that. No. no. Interesting. Them on the boom. Because they've got a big eye, like I can, I can usually tell by the eyes. And yeah, this, you can, yeah, get the big hand. Y- the, yeah, they do. And this, this actually almost looks like uh, an HB head. You can see where people have been grinding. See the drill right there? They've been drilling out the yeah. wood. You can see it. Eh? Yeah. But that's nice. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put that to good use. Yeah, that's a nice axe. It's good, strong steel. So we got to work on Bob because the last time we. The last time we were here, what, when did we, where did we end up? 65, didn't we? We stopped at 65. Before we moved here. Yeah, so, I think, yeah, there, yeah. it was, yeah, what was? Fair Harbor. Fair Harbor. Yeah. It was. I'll go back in the video and I'll look. Because yeah. I think we stopped at 1965. So, we're going to get back on. We're going to do part two with Bob here. And the next little bit, I dropped my 10, my Pro 1010. Remember the one I <laughs> went crazy on me? So, I tore it down. Bobby's going to show me how to put it back together because I don't know how to do that I can tear them down but uh, we just got to track some time down but uh, I wanted to come over here and see him and, and Holly today so it's been far too long so we'll talk to you guys in a little bit friends so Bobby's uh, this is this is interesting this is a 266 friends Husky 266 and this was up at the at the at the at the campsite yeah it was, uh, and uh, sitting out there for years it was sitting out there for years Bob said all rusted and that so bobby's cleaned it right up he's put a stock motor but then you did your thing to it you tore it down mm-hmm. Bob, bobby did his little smirk i call it the smirk <laughs> he gets a smirk when you talk about it so so here it is it's a 266 and it's got the dual port muffler on it which just makes them sound wonderful and this is a good one i can tell because i've only had about 30 of them mm-hmm. and i know this is a good one i can tell we're gonna fire it up, friends. See what it That was a switch, Bobby, probably. Gonna be nice. Oh, yeah. it's all gonna be good. It sounds crisp. Yeah, it's got that real crisp to it. And it uh, it's just, yeah. oh yeah, that's gonna be lovely. It's got a new piston and everything in it too. Oh, oh it does. Yeah, so it's gonna have to break in a bit. Yeah. It's nice that it's not. Was that that? I could talk with that guy all freaking day and night. Oh yeah. So the Pro 10's over there now. He's got to wash up the parts and get her ready to look at. So <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Man, oh man! It is December 15th right now. It's 10 days to Christmas, friends. And I'm telling you something. Look at it outside. It's literally like it's warm I, I don't have the degrees because I don't have that kind of stuff <laughs> it's freaking warm my buddy from Arrington he sent me that nice bar and that nice accent thank you for that I appreciate it that's gonna go to somebody we're just going down to freezes to mail a letter this guy do it. I gotta go.
How's everybody? You guys, how you guys doing? Welcome to Buck and Billy Ray's. This is a, you just tuned into a channel that, uh, a little different. Ha <laughs> ha. Can you believe this? I'm starting to grow some new hair. I thought I'd give it a go. See if it makes me a little quicker through the bush. Streamline, you know what I'm saying? Little different. I I uh, I've been collecting McCulloch power saws for many years and running them. Actually, I've been running these power saws. I uh, yeah, you learn about me. I got I got lots to tell you. <laughs> I got lots to tell you. Oh yeah. Yeah, so anyway, just a quick glance in here of what we got going down. I, I collect axes, I have been for years and uh making axes for myself for my fallen and uh yeah it it, it kind of just took off from there i i had friends uh subscribers asking me about um making them axes and, and i and i just i just said no for for a while because i just wasn't really into it i i, I wasn't my plan to, to 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 sell axes on youtube it just wasn't my plan was to make videos uh, of my tree falling and climbing and and my music and whatever else is in my life. That was kind of the plan and hopefully spread some kindness in the world, you know, of somewhere along the line. And and we seem to be doing that, friends. And I tell you something, that is the most important thing to me is being able to somehow leave something behind that... Uh, Everyone has a legacy. I don't care who you are and where you're from. I just use that as a word. You leave behind something. You're gone, but you are not forgotten. So, excuse me, if I can help the world a little bit in, in, in the kindness sense, then I'm going to. I'm just going to. Now, okay, let's make an axe. I, uh, hey, welcome to Buck and Billy Ray's. <laughs> it's good to see you here. Uh, <laughs> I've just been pounding away on some axe handles here. Um, I'm stoked with this, this burn. Patrick, thanks, by the way. 
Patrick's a man who's helped me out with, with this stuff. Anyway, I don't want to start shouting out people. I do it all the time. I, I enjoy doing it. But let's make a handle, shall we? I think we shall. I'm taking all the varnish off this handle right now. Because how I do my handles is I use a, a spoke shave to take all the varnish off. It takes it off in a heartbeat. A little bit of manual labor. Good to get the heart rate up. You know what I mean, friends? Us old guys, you know, us 40, 48, 49, 50 year old guys, we got to keep the heart rate up, friends. We do, guys. We got to keep the heart rate up. Here, you guys come closer. There. So, you'll see it change, you see? And all it's doing is literally taking that varnish off. See it? It turns from shiny to dull. Okay. See it? Look at it. It's just varnish and a teeny, teeny little shaving of wood. See it? Look at it. That's cool. And if it starts to do that little rattle on you, turn your spoke shave around or whatever tool you're using. Turn it around. See the shiny stuff there? See it? Watch. It'll disappear. There it goes. Okay. any little teeny bits that you that's almost there friends literally it's almost there there we go friends there's our handle ready for burnage you guys ready I'm not because we got to do this first yeah we got to do this we got to take some wood off of here you just got to you got to you got to Take a little off of this, because I saw where it needed it. I saw it, I had a look. Put it in the vise, friends, right? Just put it in the vise and take a look. see what happens here it was a little bit oh there it is there oh yeah it's always in that spot that's funny with these handles anyways it seems to be right in here let's try this clip it Good, you gotta be careful where you take wood. This is gonna come all the way down. Ooh, that's, wow. Okay, so you can see where it's hitting wood, shaving wood at the back. This is gonna be a nice fit, friends, this one. But she's definitely not going on yet. Now you'll really be able to see where you need to take the wood. Once you do your first fit. So now 
we take a look. You can see. You can even see here it took a fair bit. So let's put it in there and do it. Just, it, just in the spots where it needs it, friends. No worse else. Okay. So that's pretty good on that one. Flip her over. I love the spoke shape, friends. I do. I love it. I really do. Now we got to take a little at the back here because there, I bet you that's going to go on nice now. Let's take a look at what happens here, friends. Shall we? I think this is going to go on a lot nicer now. Oh yeah, it almost slipped right on, friends. Because I want to get it down on the shoulder. Yeah, see that that went right on. Very nicely. Wow. That's going to be a nice wedge banger. Oh yeah. And just a classic design. Classic axe. Hey, is that an axe? You're darn right it is. That's an axe. Check it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is what I'm talking about, friends. Look. Very nice. Just a bit of fine detail. Oh yeah, she's digging right in all the way around now. Oh, that's gonna be killer. This is gonna be super nice, friends. I'll talk to you in a bit. This is gonna be a great axe. The man axe. It's peeling. You know, that's wonderful. It is. It's wonderful to just, when you get doing something, you've been doing it so long, that you get more efficient. You get you get more efficient at it, you see. See how I'm starting to get curled all the way around almost now. Friends, I just wanna I just wanna show you something. Okay. Um usually You'll have a spot on your axe where you're putting your axe head down and I find where the spot I get with these particular handles anyways could be different with everybody is I get a spot right there you know here and here where there's a little bit of space sometimes you've got to get down on that shoulder see watch this look at see this this actually goes on now by hand and I can tell where it's going to hit first and it's actually oh well, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. 
see right see right there see it there you can just ever so slightly see it acceptable totally acceptable but watch this did you hear that come on back I want to show you something look gone see it it's gone it is gone boom you've got curl all the way here all the way at the back there's a little teeny bit right there I'll bet you the other side's very oh the other side's better so we got curl friends all the way around we got it except for that teeny teeny little spot which I am not worried about because this is going to be a beautiful 26 uh, 26 and a half 27 inch axe it is 28 actually it's bang on it's dead center on the head it's a gorgeous axe it's a gorgeous axe and how I see one of my tests to see if I got them on is I go like this friends we are dead center we're teeny bit out which yeah I like this and it won't go on no further either so now what you do now what you do what I do yeah look take a look friends oh yeah look there's the there's our curl all the way around right look the axe has got curl all the way around except that teeny little spot right chibangle right there where I showed you <laughs> literally friends it's hardly any and look where so let's do let's look at it like this there look where the, the wedge is gonna be right almost two-thirds down that's very acceptable actually that's that's extremely acceptable I might even leave it what's going on I'm gonna burn my handle been away from the bench this feels great thanks for being patient too friends with my life channel is uh, fairly demanding so these these axes are uh, they're a hobby friends and when you order one they don't come to you in a month they don't come to you in two weeks it could be later and you guys have been awesome you understand and I love that about you guys so there we go there it is it's done it's beautiful I love it this this is gorgeous friends look soft and it just it's it's ready to rock and roll so what I'll do is I'll just burn the top because I'll show you my next step I know guys that would make this shiny complete hey what 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 yeah I am are you going to this thing going to party. okay and then what and then I'm going to Jade's are you staying over at Jade's yeah Yes. Rita, I am. did your mom have this talk with you? They don't believe me. Bye. Bye, Rita. Bye. Say goodbye to my daughter. She's going to sleep over. Bye. Okay, Bye. Be good. You know that thing in Elf? Bye, buddy. Yes. <laughs> okay, I love you, babe. Love you. Okay, be good, okay? Okay, bye. Hear that sound, friends? Oh, yeah everywhere friend this is just beautiful look at it friends look at it but you might just see so I'll show you the trick for that so now what I do now I'll show you come on down here let's put you guys here this is what I do now here I'm gonna put you guys up a step just like that okay let's use this uh, this saw this saw should work now this is where I leave a little bit proud. I call it proud. Okay? Rita and I took money out of your wallet. What kind of money? I gave her 65 for the concert ticket that Tamala bought. 
Okay. They took $140 from me, friends. I hold this together, friends. See this here? I hold it together. There we go. Okay. Now. Now what we do, this is what Bakken does now. You guys come on back up on your pet to still here. All right, how's everybody doing? Are you guys having fun yet? I sure am, I love making these axes. Now here, this is important. Biggie, are you watching? Biggie, buddy, are you in there? Watch. This is what I was talking to you when you came and visited me in, in, in uh, Indiana. Where's my freaking? It'll show. It'll show, it always shows. Perfect, I found it. Okay, hacksaw blade, right? Now, this goes in here. See, see what I'm talking about? We got space. This is what I'm talking about. We're ready for wedge, but now this is what I do. I, I bottom it out, I put my finger there like this, and I pull it out and I go, that's how much wedge I need right there. So, somebody so kind, sent me wedges now this one here see that won't that won't bottom out I'm on rubber okay There we are. Well, I'll be darned. Very, very simple. Mr. Wood Rasp. I just bust off the excess. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do now? Yeah, we are. We're gonna do it. Now, this basically has just been hafted. It's a great looking ax. It's a vintage ax. A lot of them have been thrashed upon. Listen, did you hear that friends? Watch. This is what I call the bounce, look. Yeah. <laughs> that means it's down, friends. It's down. Now, what we could do is we could take this out and literally just pound on it. I do have a little spot here that I play around with. Let's get rid of this roll here first. You can take a knife or what you can do is sometimes take a rag and just rub it and it'll peel off. You know that curl? Do what I'm doing because there's no light out there. But watch, you'll see me swing. Check it out. Okay, did you did you hear that back to the axe I just literally walloped L walloped that <sighs> yeah I think you know what I'm gonna say well you'd be able to tell you'd be able to tell right here this is a wicked axe <laughs> it's deadly I love it <laughs> Yeah, 
I like it. Now I'm quite confident that this wedge is all the way down, seated down. So I could literally, I could put wedges in this thing. It's when, it's when you don't think you're seated that you can pull wood down with you, which isn't a big deal anyway. But this is, friends, this is nice. This is a nice ax. <laughs> it really is. We should almost go. I don't, oh, what else could I beat? I mean, I could literally beat this thing right here. I could literally beat this. This is, this is rubber, right? It's not going anywhere, friends. But I like to do that. I like to do that for folks. So whoever's going to get this USA man axe, you got yourselves a nice axe, friends. Real nice. So this is basically a buck and special. Lots of work in them. There's a, there is, there's a lot of work in them. Hours actually. The handle and the head and I buy heads everywhere. I buy heads everywhere I can. I pay good money for some heads. But sometimes I get a good deal and there's an old saying, what you miss on the merry-go-round, you gain on the swings. <laughs> or what you miss on the swings, you gain on the merry-go-round. It's all, it's all what it is. But friends, I am very happy about this ax. Very happy. USA man, look at that big huge wedge bang and pole on her it's actually a gorgeous axe I love it I really like it let's give it some more vodka I'll talk to you guys later well I'll tell you right now people Billy Ray sent me down here he dragged me out of the swamps of the Mississippi he told me to come up here and give him a hand doing this here with this vodka here you see you got to be careful saying certain words vodka is one of them you got to be careful because your lips will fall down over your teeth and we don't want that we don't want that at all friends now yeah that's right that's all right all right all right all right i like that guy what's his name there you know who he is <laughs> yeah all right friends have you guys seen that spin character around have you? Yes, I'll tell you right now. He's a good character, that fella. He works hard, that man. Hard. Speaking of hard, friends, you got to get this in here. Now, don't just be playing around. You got to get this in the pores of the wood, you see. Billy told me that a long time ago. My dad was out in the shop. He was working on the... Matter of fact, he was working on axes, as a matter of fact. And that's, that's where I got this this little problem I got here it's well it was a long story short I make it short it was long I can make it short for you we was in the shop my dad was working on an axe it was terrible I don't like not thinking about it really he was testing his axes out like Billy Ray does here well friends I don't know what he was thinking he forgot to put the dang wedge in the top of the thing there. The freaking head flew right off the axe and smashed me right in the teeth. And hit me with the, the blade, knocked my lip right off. Hit me in the teeth and knocked my lip clean right off. That's what happened. Gosh, I tell you, he felt so bad. He felt sick. Oh, he felt bad. But, it's Cletus. That's just that's my name. Cletus now, what can you do? <laughs> you gotta run with it. Hell, I, I don't know. But I'm going to tell you guys something right now. Now this axe handle, I'm rubbing hard here now. She's coming up real good, friends. Real good here now. You can see that lock they're going to work real good there now. I'm telling you, you got to hit it hard. All right. This axe is almost done. Billy will come in there and give a little burn on there with that little thing there. He's got the burns everything there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I hope everybody's doing good here on this channel here now. <laughs> yeah. That Billy, he's quite a character, isn't he? Yeah, I know. He is a good man, good man. He picked me up and put me to work. I saw him. I was looking for a job and 
Well, he, he had to have a job, so I took it. Just laboring. That's all I know how to do is labor and work with my hands. That's, that's Cletus, you see. That's my name, right? I told you that, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. I say that a lot because I forget things, you say. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, indeed. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Friends, I'm going to get the burnout. Over and out. friends fucking special another one down there and oh cletus here he's getting pretty good at this now he's not done do it every day he's done it a few times he have not done it many times not too many times fucking says there we go now you got to be careful when you get back in there and try it for a second time because there are things around, the handles are around. You got to be careful. You just got to be careful. You got to put it on there and you got to stick that down in there and rock it and do a little of this and a little of that and make sure you fill it all in there. Cletus is not going to have a job. We don't want Cletus not working. I got a family to feed and so do you. Howdy. Now, it... Once you get the vern on there, when you're done the vern, you really basically got to go over things, make sure everything's tiddly boo. But just be careful that your lip stays above your tooth and over top of your teeth just for your gums and your teeth meet, you'll be all right. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> I was told that when I was a kid. Keep them gums and that teeth lip right across there. Your lip just right in there and you'll be fine. So I done it ever since. That's what I just done. I done that. That's what I done. I told you that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Well, I hope everybody's getting ready for Christmas. This all god dang, gosh darn god dang Christmas is always around the corner there. Now, friends, I gotta tell you something. I'm, I'm being honest when I tell you this. Cletus is an honest man. Now, listen up. When I do these bucking specials, like this is only my second one, when I do them, and I put this bucking special on there, I feel like a million dollars. Because look how good it looks. I'm proud of these. I'm real proud of these. Now, they look good. They feel good. They work good. They're darn tootin' good. All right, so that's the process of the bucking special. I'm going to go get some wedges. We're going to bang a wedge or two in this thing. You going to check it out? All right, I'll go get it. Now, I put a little neck in there so when she goes down in there, the wood grabs inside there, kind of like this right here, friends. Kind of like that thing right there. You see there, this thing? I told you that, didn't I? Yes, I did, right there. Okay, now. Now, now Cletus has done this many times. All right, all right, all right. But sometimes, these things get a little thick. All right, all right. I'm putting them in here now. You see? You no, know, these are perfect. They're just perfect. Now watch what I do here. You coming on down? Come on down and watch what I do here. Okay. Now this is what I do. I had myself a piece. There it is right there. Okay. Here's my piece of wood I use. Okay, friends? Now I get this on here like this, right here like this now. All right. All right, all right. Where's me? There she is, right there. Okay, now, the real, real, what I do here with this here now is I put this right there like this, okay? I make sure that I got my things there. Yes, I do. I got them. Oh, Cletus, I'm so glad I got a job here. Oh, gosh darn it. Let me tell you right now. Oh, Daniel, son. You see what I'm saying? You talking to see what I'm saying? There's one there now. Okay, we got one in there. We're going to get another one. Hey, <laughs> how are you? Um, 
This is what a bucking special looks like when it's done, friends. I do double bits and all vintage heads. These are old. This could be from the 60s, perhaps. Maybe even the 50s. It's a man, USA man. It, 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 I don't have to go off about how the older steel is much, much better than the newer steel. We all know it is. So this has got character. This axe has been to war. It's back out. It's going in for another, another shift. Hickory handle. 28 inch beautiful it probably come up let's see it'll probably come up 27 it did 27 and a quarter beautiful axe beautiful friends so this is it check out if you're if you're interested in the process of the build and what i do and where i get my heads i get them wherever but if you want to watch some axe builds go down to the buck and special playlist on my youtube channel now the YouTube channel, if you haven't been over there, I'm telling you, there's some crazy subscribers on my channel. They're like, I, I, I'm surprised they don't, n never mind, I'll tell you about it later. Just go check it out for yourself. Over and out friends and be kind to one another.